On tonight's episode of Legacy, we'll be discussing the discovery of J.J. Thompson. Sir Joseph John J.J. Thompson was such an important scientist. His discovery shaped all aspects of science and really influenced our knowledge on the atom. Born on December 18, 1856 in Cheetah Hill, England. Demonstrated an outstanding talent and interest in science at a young age. After his early education from various private schools, he was shockingly accepted to Owens College at 14 years old. After a couple of years, Thompson decided to transfer to, Tr to Trinity College where he received a BA in mathematics, which was the foundation for all of his future research, discoveries, and experiments. Thompson's discovery really began with ideas and questions in his head that he started to put together one by one. Thompson suggested that atoms were made up of parts a thousand times smaller than an atom, electrons. He came to this conclusion because he was able to calculate the mass of particles in cathode rays. He estimated the mass of cathode rays by measuring the heat generated when the rays hit a thermal junction and comparing this with the magnetic deflection of the rays. His experiment suggested not only that cathode rays were over a thousand times lighter than the hydrogen atom, but also that their mass was the same in whichever type of atom they came from. He concluded that the rays were composed of very light, negatively charged particles, which were a universal building block of atoms. He constructed a series of experiments to prove whether cathode rays were waves or particles. In the first one, he used magnetic fields to redirect the flow of the ray, proving that the negative charge and the ray were inseparable and intertwined. In the second, he managed to deflect the rays with an electric charge, further proving that the rays were made of a negatively charged particle. In the third, he decided to try and find out more about the nature of the particle. He found that the particle's mass to charge ratio were so large that he either had to carry a massive charge or be several times smaller than the hydrogen atom. From these experiments, he concluded that atoms consisted of these negatively charged particles swimming in a sea of positive charge. After all the research that Thompson did, he came up with his model of the atom, the plum pudding model. It was created after the discovery of the electron, but before the discovery of the atomic nucleus. Thomson first believed that the hydrogen atom was made up of more than 2,000 electrons in order to account for its mass. In 1906, he suggested that the atoms contained much fewer electrons. The number he suggested was close to the actual atomic number. Hydrogen has only one electron, which is much fewer than it was originally suggested. These electrons are balanced by a positive charge. The charge and mass distributed in the atom was unknown at the time. So Thompson proposed a plum pudding model, which is also known as the chocolate chip cookie or the blueberry muffin. The plum pudding model consisted of positive and negative charge that filled a sphere only one ten billionth of a meter across. The pudding would represent the positively charged electrons and the plums dotting the dough would represent the negatively charged electrons. The plum pudding representation was meant to explain why most atoms were neutral. At first, the model was widely accepted, but after five years, it was invalidated during what today is known as the Rutherford Gold Foil Experiment, which was an experiment designed to probe the atom. Well, folks, that's my discovery. It sure does seem like I am very important to modern day science. Until next time, keep reading your chemistry books. <laughs> On tonight's episode of... <laughs> there was a fly in my hair, okay? Thomas, Thomas, his name's not Thomas, his name is Thompson. <laughs>